In Texas, we have hills, so it's okay. I don't need no hills. This Woo! is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. What's up, P Nation? This is a very different video we're making today. Actually, it's gonna happen tomorrow. We are trying to go down to Charleston. We are healthy now, so we're gonna run across a two-mile bridge. You know what the bridge is called? Arthur Raven. Something like a raven. I don't know, but it's hurricane season, Ravenal? and there's a lot of rain expected, and there could be like a typhoon tomorrow. It's gonna be crazy. I hope, fingers crossed, that we don't cross this bridge. Run across just get drenched or lose a drone or lose a cat. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's really exciting. It's raining right now. That's why we're doing this intro in our house in Myrtle Beach and we are about to go to Charleston. Let's get on the road. All right, and we're off. We forgot the granola bars, so we actually went back, but now we're going down Myrtle Beach Drive and I don't know what to expect from this trip. We're supposed to go to Charleston and see everything, but like it's I said, rain. it's gonna rain. So, who knows? Fingers crossed, this road trip's about to be epic. We're gonna listen to country music for the next two hours. You know what's crazy? What? Is that we're going on a vacation on a vacation. I think this is the first time I paid for two hotel rooms in the same night. Definitely, yeah. I've never been there before. later we made it it is weird to stay in a hotel it's kind of eerie it's really empty um, yeah. it's Saturday night and no one's here it's also a budget hotel true <laughs> but we were staying right next to the bridge so we can wake up super early and get straight there because so we're running now the hurricane comes yeah I don't yeah know. I, don't, I don't know it's gonna it rain like three times on the way here and there's a storm off the coast right now but fingers crossed we can get across the whole thing we might just be drenched. You know, it might just be a whole wash. We'll see. We're gonna bring the GoPro. <laughs> it's gonna be great. We're gonna go to sleep. See you in the morning. Oh. Oh. Good morning. Uh, it was hard to wake up, but it's not as humid as I thought it would be, so that's a good thing. It might not be as crazy weather either. The thunderstorms aren't supposed to come for two hours. So, fingers crossed. We are right next to the bridge, so we're gonna take you there and show you some hopefully, hopefully drone shots. Unless I crash into the ocean. Hopefully you won't. All right, we made it. We got a lot of mosquito bites because of the drone shots, but it was worth it for you guys to see what the bridge looks like. And now we're getting ready to run. There's a lot of marathon runners here. I've run a half marathon before. Leah almost ran a half marathon. I did run a half marathon. Oh, well, she did almost run a, half a half marathon. I, I don't I'm offended. So we're gonna try and run across this bridge. It's 2.2 miles one way, and we're gonna do the whole thing. Ooh. So cool, the sidewalk's made of seashells. So beachy. Bridge. Let's do this thing. used to hills in Maryland. She just lives on the shore. It's really flat. In Texas, we have hills, so it's okay. I don't need no hills. We need hills. Endurance. It's hard. My butt is on fire. But it is, it is so beautiful. There is just a sunrise from like three different angles. It's hard to see on camera, but the sky is pink. We 
ran all the way to Drum Island and then she said she wanted to come around. So we're walking up the hill to go down the hill trying to accommodate my life partner. I just, it's too far. Two and a half miles one way is a really long bridge. We go five mile run. And we I'm just happy. told them you did a half marathon. Yeah, that was oh. like 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> We did it, we made a really good attempt at running the whole thing. I don't think we're there yet. At least I'm not, Zach might be, but yeah. We, you know what, we, I'm proud of us. Cause we tried to do something physical, along with vacation, along True. with travel. This is the first. This is the first We day. would never wake up at 6 a.m. and do something no. like this, unless. We don't wake up at 6 a.m. to go running normally, you know? True. We would never do this, but I'm glad we did. to the crest can we run back down yeah we can run back okay cool we're gonna go get some biscuits we were just in charleston we made it over the crest now we're in mount pleasant and so we're gonna go back into charleston get some breakfast at one of the most famous biscuit places in the city callie's pot little biscuit i'm running to the food oh, oh my gosh i'm so sweaty it's really humid so we i think we're like drenched in more than just sweat but you know you guys thought we were gonna go through a hurricane and so do we. So I'll take the humidity <laughs> over actual rain because this is nice. It, that was really fun. Instead of eating these in front of an industrial building, we thought we'd give you a good background to be at the church. But I thought the park next to the church was a park, not a cemetery. So we're not gonna eat these biscuits in the cemetery. <laughs> On to the next place. Just walking through, trying to find a place to eat these delicious biscuits, you get the sense that Charleston is just like a really green place. There's just a lot of plants, there's a lot of Spanish moss, there's a lot of foliage. I know it's the middle of summer, but it just seems very like, it's like an arboretum in itself. Wow, so we got pimento cheese, sausage, and this thick layer. It looks like, I don't even know, sponge cake cornbread, but it's actually egg with this biscuit that's very famous. So biscuits are such a Southern tradition. We just figured since we're here in the South, here in Charleston, it's so beautiful. We had to adhere to the tradition of breakfast biscuit. So here we go. Mmm. That pimento cheese is really good. Zach is the biggest fan of pimento cheese. I could have take it or leave it normally, but on a breakfast sandwich, man, that's delicious. Sausage, egg, and cheese can be like easily be the best breakfast combination in the entire world. And this biscuit, everybody look at this biscuit. It is fluffy and soft and flaky. I get it. That's really, really good. All right, now for this blueberry one. Apparently it has cream cheese. I don't even know. Mmm. Well, that's like the sharpest cream cheese, if that's even a thing that I've ever had in my life. Super, super pungent on the biscuit. It's so dense and moist, just like the air around us. Ooh. That's the secret to Charleston biscuits. It's just super humid, and you bake them. And they're, oh, I could have this every day. So I'm expecting this just to taste like a muffin, but it's so much more. That is some sharp cream cheese. Oh my gosh. I think, I didn't grow up with biscuits, but what I appreciate about them is their flakiness. Cause they just like fall apart in your mouth, but you think they'd be dry and they're not. It's like a magical treat. I don't know, this is really, really good. It was really good. All right, thanks for running the bridge with us. It was awesome, Leah kept up, it was really good. And I'm so glad we didn't get a hurricane. The forecast was really bad, and it's funny how things can change in two hours. So true, we didn't even know if we were actually gonna come here until last night, like at five o'clock. And all of a sudden we were like booking a hotel room. And that Callie's Hot Little Biscuit was so good, like, I'm full and happy 
Charleston is wonderful in the morning. I am so excited to explore more. It was really nice to have the streets all to ourselves in the morning. I don't think it's ever gonna yeah. be like this because there's normally so many people here.